Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Buff Geek here, joined by... It's me, it's me, it's Ian Stobie. And... What up, guys? It's second choice for the intros, David. Um, yes, that's your new nickname, second choice for the intros. <laughs> Screw you. We should get a t-shirt with that pin on it. <laughs> Go back to old hat. Uh... Oh, no, I'm old hat. Yeah. I'm old hat. I'm no hat. Go back to new... I know hat. He's... <laughs> You're no hat. He's no covered up. For a change. Ah! What's happening? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just... Did you wash your hair this week? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat the honesty in that, can you? Well, this is, a, I was saying earlier, this is our first podcast of the new era, year two. Yes. The the year of expansion. <laughs> That's a funny balloon. That was like someone <laughs> stealing the <laughs> spoiler balloon. horn before you finished. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was maybe one of those, you know, those streamer, the, the ones that go like, uh, and kind of pop <laughs> out and then come back uh, in again. Yeah. What are those called? Yeah. Yeah, those ones, yeah. yeah. Party floors? Party blowers. That's, that's what I'm I wish we about. had some party blowers around tonight. You can apply through the website. <laughs> What's the address <laughs> of the website, David? The Above Geek Podcast blog dot wordpress dot com. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, goddamn, what are we going to do tonight, guys? I thought just a hang. Just a hang. Just a hang. Yeah, there's, there's nothing more to do. We just finished an MCU reviews series. Just, just a little show then. I know what we could do. What could we do, David? We. What are we doing again? I don't know. I thought you'd do. The... Oh, right, okay. No. Are you, no? Are you not doing some sort of rhyme? Circle jet. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the rich cheese. Oh, man. But then he he's, came along. I know. Well, he, I didn't think he'd actually... He could join the race. You know? <laughs> anyway. All I can say is I train those fast twitch muscle fibers <laughs> and I always win. <laughs> oh, brilliant. No, what we're actually going to do is... We've been doing a little something called the MCU Movie Review Series and we're going to need to put those films in order. Now, we actually have them tabulated right now, but now is the time when we're going to go, do you know what? That's bullshit. That's well better than that film. Yeah. That's that's way worse than that film. This is the, the thing. Luckily, all of us have watched all of the films really recently. Up to a point. <laughs> Up to a point. Uh, cinema release week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which you know that that's fine. The that's... last the last film I did watch out the the MCU was uh, I'm pretty sure it was Doctor Strange. No, well, I've seen Spider Man since. Have you? Yeah, yeah, you have. You've seen Spider Homecoming. I've seen Spider Man Homecoming since. So. Oh, we've not spoke about it. Well, we've spoke about it. me and you've not spoke about it, yeah. but it is. I thought it was fucking really good. I thought it was awesome, man. Amazing. Uh, it's really probably good. the best one in the bunch. Oh man, it was so good. I, mean, I remember liking the Andrew Garfield one, the first one. Yeah, that was cool. Um, and I remember liking parts of the Tobey Maguire first one, and I think maybe I like the second one better. The second one was awesome. I but thought. I hated I really Tobey enjoyed Maguire. The second one. I absolutely hated Tobey Maguire. Well, yeah, we watched it in New York. Oh, so yeah. New York. Yeah, 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 it was good. Oh no way! Uh, it was pretty cool. So man. a film set in New York, and we were actually watching it in New York. It was. He's going. That's where you were yesterday. I'm like, oh, awesome. I don't remember it, but that's awesome. <laughs> that's that's Astor sweet. Place. That's right, yeah. Yep. yeah. See, I remember that. What Ooh. scene is filmed in Astor Place then? What happens Aye. in Astor Place? It's when Doc Ock uh, grabs Aunt May and then climbs up the wall and he smacks the sign. I can't wait till we do the Spider Man films all over again. Yeah. Well, not all over again, but like. Well, all they, they're over. all over again for watching, not for podcasting. That'd be one of the best cinemas I've been in as well, actually. I was pretty sweet, like, because it was a Yankee cinema. You know, slightly bigger seats, more luxurious. It was awesome. Well, well the Americans know how to, how to treat a person. Mm. They know all about three customer rifles, service. Three refills on your juices. Uh, like, you don't need to wash that wire, but I don't know. I realised that afterwards. Like, no, nope. nope. Don't, don't, don't break it. Don't break it. Okay, so shall we tell folks the rundown right now? Have you got the numbers in front of you? I, I think I do. I think I do. I was trying to sort them. Do you want me to call out the names and you can just... Right. Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. I okay. got it. I got Go. it. So... Currently, speaking to the mic, well, not that close. Hi, Mike. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna give me a middle part in here. You feel uh, very nice. Why, thank you. Nice and warm, muscular, but not too muscular. Just I, the I way I like my boys. <laughs> <laughs> nice middle part. And fuck off. Leave my hair alone. Uh, right. uh, <laughs> so, the rundown we have at the moment, I'm just checking this matches with that. It does. So, updated thanks to Stu Stats, we have. Captain America 3, Civil Who's War. Who's Stu? Stu, if you're listening, tell him who you are. Uh, I thought I literally thought you screwed up, but I, I thought you meant I thought you no, no, Steve's no, name that's, wrong. That's It's Steve. There's two stats and there's It's Steve. Stu's stats are way more detailed. 
But oh, we, right. we still love you, Steve. We still hashtag Stu Stats. My God, did you just bury Steve there? <laughs> no, he knows about Stu Stats. God he damn, loves son. Stu, Stu, you're causing controversy here. Shut up. Stop it. Is Stu even real? I've never met him. Stu is real. I've met Stu. Have you? Wasn't that Stu last week with the? No, was that not him? It was last week. That was Steve. No, um, that was you. You weren't there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a se- secret. Still lives down in Cambridge. Okay, Cambridge. That's you, you've never met him, but he's my friend. That's when I went to Cambridge and met him. Right. Okay. <laughs> yep. You wouldn't know my girlfriend. She lives at my granny's. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know her. She lives. She lives in Vancouver. Who is she? She's oh, from Niagara I'm, Falls. She's not from here. She stays up by my gran. <laughs> <laughs> That's always. <laughs> Ye old faithful, eh? <laughs> yeah, I got that. Where'd you get it from? America. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. So we have Ant-Man at number 16, Iron Man 3 at number th- 15, Thor 2 The Dark World at 14, Doctor Strange, you can guess what number that's at, Joint 11th is Avengers Age of Ultron and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. You've missed one out. Well, I've missed out so Iron far. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2. It's higher up than I put on that list over there. Go. Go sort it. Go sort it, Ian. Come on. Where's it supposed to be? Uh, right, so Ant Man, from the bottom Ant Man, Iron Man 3, uh-huh. Thor 2, Doc Strange. Right, hold on, hold on. Right. Everything's going tight. We've got music playing outside. We've got to have the windows cracked open full because it's really warm in here. So we've got Thor 2, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 after no, Doctor Strange. Hold on, hold on. Did you say Doctor Strange? Then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume. Sure, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pause this real quick. There's another one that's in the wrong place. Okay, and we're back. I've managed to pull the uh, the brothers apart. There was a little bit of bitch slappery there and hair pulling and beard pulling. and A.K.A. technical difficulties. Also known as technical difficulties. And if I could really be arsed, I'd probably put like an advertisement in there. In that space, you know. But there wasn't space because you paused it. I know. So it was just a hello. So it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you talking about? There's nothing there. I'm talking, the, I'm talking about the fact that time is a construct, okay? Who constructed it? I don't know. Then... But that's why I don't follow time. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm always late, motherfuckers. My body does, but I don't. <laughs> Although, you're actually the one that's always late now. Yeah, this is, this but is I true. I want to thank for that, because usually it means that I get time to eat and jerk off before you guys come round. <laughs> well, you got to get your special sauce somehow. Oh, yeah, buddy. Right, let's try that again. So, David, what's the rundown? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I've not told you guys this yet, but here comes the rundown for you. It's not like deja vu at all. Starting at 16th, we have Ant-Man. So, according to our podcast, we've made that the worst of the MCU series. And how much? How many points has it got out of 10? Or out of 20? Has 20? 12. 12. Okay. Yep, 12 points. Then we have Iron Man 3 with 12.5 points. So, just pipping it slightly in at 15. Uh-huh. Thor 2 with 13.5 points at 14, mm-hmm. and Doctor Strange with 14 points at 13. That's confusing. Next, Next, we have Avengers Age of Ultron and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, joint 11th at 14 and a half. Okay. Iron Man 2 comes in at 10th with 15 points. Joint 8th, <laughs> Cap First Avenger and Incredible Hulk with 15.5 points. Climbing up the charts at number 7, we have Thor at 16 points. Equal fifth, we have Cap 2, Winter Soldier, and Guardians of the Galaxy on 17 and a half points. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is really informative or it's really boring, but we started. You asked. I know what I asked. I asked. Spidey Homecoming and Iron Man are both in at number three with 18 points. <laughs> Avengers Assemble, 18 and a half points at two. And as I said earlier... Cap 3, Civil War, 19 out of 20. Oh, Holding bastard. that place at Top number rank. one this week, we yeah. have... <laughs> Spin those records, son. <laughs> right. So, what do you think of that, motherfuckers? Right, I'm looking at it right now, and I'm thinking that... I'm thinking that maybe... Maybe I would change. Let's not say it would change straight away. Actually, let's 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 put some. Uh, you're trying to eat in front of me, you motherfucker. It's like sneezing at a meeting with Vincent Mann. How dare you? Sorry. Yeah. Um. I would change maybe one. Well, we need to need to figure out the the ones that are ekies, don't we? Yeah, we do. We need to decide. So the equal ones we've got. 
looking at the list, can anyone else read that? Yeah, I, I can. So the equal ones we've got um, is Avengers Age of Ultron and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So they're both equal. Um, we've also got Incredible Hulk and Captain America the First Avenger. So we also rate those as both being as good quality or shit quality, depending on how you look at it. Mm-hmm. And then also equal, because people need an explanation of what equal means. Yeah. yeah. And I was hoping later on you could explain how a, a donut shop works. <laughs> <laughs> wait i need to clear that up people probably think i'm like saying you're fat or something like that no it's you were telling you said wow. about a job and then you proceeded to tell me that you know it's a it's a, it's a shop with with donuts in it and they also sell other confectionery and they also have chairs and t- and i was like what and the drinks. fuck man yeah honestly it was yeah, pretty you special do realize i was starting to take the piss no no, I think I think you're trying to cover it now. No, no, He's trying I, to cover it, isn't he? I, I, I genuinely Fucking was. liar. Anyway, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy and yeah. Captain America the Winter Soldier are both equal. And then Iron Man and Spider Man Homecoming are both equal. So do we try and figure out those two? Figure out those one, the equal ones first? Well, here's here's an approach. Do you think Ant Man is the worst film in the MCU? Yes. No. See, the, the point of debate straight off. Go for it, Ian. What do you think is the worst film in the MCU? Out of that list? Yes. That's that's all the films in the MCU. Don't start. <laughs> I'm going to go home, I swear to God. You ain't going home, you, he's your left. I'll quite happily get the bus home. Um, it's Sunday service today, actually, so uh, you won't get the bus. I would probably say, there's, well, the thing is, there's a lot there, do, obviously. Do, 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 Boom. Don't be an arsehole. People who are anywhere but from the UK will not know what that song was. Google Countdown. Right. I'll go ahead and say Iron Man 2. Right, Google Carol Vorderman, you know what I'm saying? Iron you think Man Iron Man 2? Two. Two. That's Iron a big two. drop. See, That's I, one, two, I don't like it. Five, Worse than Iron Man 3? I quite liked Iron Man 3. What? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Iron Man 3. What's wrong with you? You're meant to like, I, know about film and shit. I gave Iron Man 3 7 and a half. I'm, I'm kind of with him on that. Iron, Iron Man 3 absolutely fucking blows compared to Iron Man 2. Well, Iron Man 2, I gave a 7. So apparently I like it less than Iron Man 3. Apparently. See, just because you didn't like it doesn't mean everybody else didn't like it. Yes, it does. <laughs> Hashtag opinions. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, it, is it equal or is it buff equal? That's something I was sitting on. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> it's, it's amazing that you can do dad jokes without even being a dad. It must be just a stobiism. <laughs> we do like our play on words. Okay, so, so you would put Iron Man 2 at the very bottom out of all of those? Possibly. What didn't you like about it? I just thought it was boring as shit, man. Really? Uh, yeah, generally I did. I just, I just didn't like it. You do realise that Robert Downey Jr. is in it, right? Yeah. Okay. Mickey Rourke's in it, and even Sam Rockwell's in it, but that's not enough to save it. <laughs> Although um, Justin Hammer was pretty awesome. I'll give him that. Justin Hammer was fucking glorious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He, I, re- I really liked him in this. Really liked him. New Buff Geek member from the web team, Kev, Mm-hmm. said about Iron Man 2, he gave it a 6. He says it's entertaining, but a small step back from the first overall. And then he put in quotes, I want my bird. <laughs> bird. <laughs> I can't bird. even do it anymore, my bird. <laughs> I want my bird. <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> Vanko. He could have been, he, uh, what, would he, what would they call him? What was his name, Ivan Vink? No, what was his name? Uh, Vanko. Was it Vanko? I think it's yeah. Vanko, yeah. Well, I should have been more confident. Okay, that's interesting. So you you think Iron Man two is worse? So how how is if you think Iron Man two is worse than Iron Man three? Why is Iron Man three so much lower? Is it because I gave it an absolute? Because dis- you gave it a disgusting score, yeah. Which was what you gave like Iron Man two an eight, Jesus. so that brought Iron Man two right up. But you gave Iron Man three a five, so that that just plummeted it to the bottom of the pile. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. That's interesting, and with that knowledge where would you put ant-man just just eyeballing that now 
on a side note, how valid is his opinion in all this? Because uh, he's not watched all the films and he's not been here for all the rankings. Oh, 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 oh. controversial! Oh, you're, controversial! You're just asking me, I'm just telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're valid because you asked them. Oh, <laughs> so it's my my fault. Yeah, your mistake. Ah. <laughs> Foot, mouth, <laughs> disease. <laughs> I, I would actually put Ant Man round about the Thor area. Which Thor area? The first one. Right up that high. Yeah. So you're talking one, two, three, four, five, six. So a seventh, around about seven, halfway mark. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's quite high up. I would have it, personally, I'd have it somewhere around Doc Strange. But then, yeah, I would, I'd probably have it Ant Man, Doc Just Strange, Thor 2, Iron Man 3. Look at that list, I can see worse films than Ant Man. But I enjoyed Iron Man 3 more than Okay, Thor so two. what films did you think were worse than Ant Man? Okay, uh, Thor 2, The Dark World. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, My scores probably don't, but I do. Avengers Age of Ultron wasn't the greatest. It was good the first time I watched it, but having revisited, I really... You think Ant-Man's better than Age of Ultron? I enjoyed it better than Age I of Ultron. I disagree with that. Right, okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> that's uh, but that gives us a place. And what else? Possibly... I find it more enjoyable than Captain America, the first Avenger. Okay. And I certainly found it more enjoyable than the Incredible Hulk. Oof. Yeah, to be fair, I can't remember where Hulk is, but I remember thinking that was quite high. Hulk is beside Captain I America First Avenger. Yeah. So Hulk, I think, is quite high. See, I really liked the Hulk. Yeah, it was okay. I put it, I, I, I probably... <laughs> I, see, I see a pattern here. It's your scores that are fucking everything up. What? <laughs> 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 well, is it that, or... Is it that you guys share the same opinion because you're brothers? Oh, you're feeling ganged up on. What is Steve? What what what's Steve scores? Steve, uh, oh, he sent me them and I've left them at work. Oh no! Do you know what? What? Call him. Call him. Let's get him in on this. Not row. Call him. I like Got how you. it's like uh, an FBI wallboard there with a the light shining on it's it. It's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> Just need the. the well, stream. I'm at, I'm actually going to be getting. You know, get those little um. He'll know we're calling because he'll have heard it on this podcast. That's true. Yeah. This is kind of like, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Spaceballs right now. He's not going to answer. He's going to answer. Yeah, he's not going to answer. Come on, Steve. It just takes a while to connect. Let's go that way. Okay. Here he comes. Oh, he's there. Yay. Yay. <laughs> what up, dude? Good. How's it going? Not too bad. bad. It's much He's writing <laughs> on the website right now. That's brilliant. We are recording. Funny, um, funny that you know that, eh? <laughs> what film are we talking about again? Right, so... We don't have your scores. I. He left them. My bad. And I feel like... Oh, I feel like these two jokers oh, here... Like the same things because they're related. So I need, I oh, need actually, a little bit of help. Actually, his his scores are on the the sheet when he was on a podcast. But he's got his own. Did you email it to my personal email? No, work one day. Damn it, my bad. Right, yeah. Um, can, okay, so. Can you re-email it? Re-email. Re-email. Ah, it's it's at work. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. But you guys are all upside down. <laughs> <laughs> when did you notice? <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let me go recap. I'll, I'll, I should be able to get it pretty bang on from memory. Was I hope this. I hope people can hear this. <laughs> yes, so do I. Can you hear Steve? Steve. Uh, who knows? Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to this back at some point. <laughs> right. Okay. Give us a call back when you when you remember. My bad. I apologize. Right. Okay. No worries. Catch you in a bit. Catch you. Bye. 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 That was Steve, everyone. That was Steve. Yes. Steve, that was you. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to, to figure that out a little bit. So, what say right now we? Try and at least get everything in a sequential order, so we split the difference of the Iron Man, Spider Man, all that kind of stuff, and then we can move shit around. Right. 
we'll so at least we at least we decide on the ones that are doubled up there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we can ultimately move it. So, with that in mind, with that in mind, do you want bring the bring the mic over and then move over a bit so that. Oh, it's going to make a funny sound, man. You're going to make a funny sound. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry, folks. Right. Okay. So, this is the crack. We've got Avengers Age of Ultron and Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Straight straight off the bat, David, which one do you prefer out the two of them? Ah, why me? Oh yeah, because there's only three of us. Yeah. Um, so, see, I like overall Age of Ultron is not the best film, but some of the sequences in it are fantastic. Yes, they are. Guardians of the Galaxy was great, good laughs from start to finish, but generally just tried a bit too hard at times. Yes, they did. I think you could say that about Age of Ultron as well. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, it's kind of like they shat it a little bit on the second one. Yeah, it uh, was just like it was funny the first time round. So let's try and double it even more. Yeah, let, let's switch. Most, most of it was forced. Definitely Age of Ultron, I, I found. Yeah. The, okay. The, it just didn't feel natural. So for me, in the podcast, I ranked Age of Ultron with 7.5 and, and I gave Guardians an 8. I'm going to stick with my judgement on that. Okay, Ian? Uh, I, I have to say I prefer Guardians to Age of Ultron. So that's two for Guardians, one for Age of Ultron. Depending on what Steve says, then. <laughs> we're Steve's fucked. not here. So, by well, already, uh, so regardless what do you think? So, reg- uh, regardless of what I think, then I already lost, right? <laughs> no, no, because it's open for debate. Okay, so. Okay, so my argument would be that if you didn't. If Age of Ultron wasn't actually as good as I think it is which I think it's probably I think it's probably better than Guardians Volume 2 then we probably wouldn't have got to a Guardians Volume 2 I also made a lot more money yeah, and I think true. we might want to take into consideration well, how much money it, each of the films made well Avengers Age of Ultron had a budget of 316 million okay so but with that in mind that's a really weird reaction for your stomach. So they had a budget of three hundred sixteen million. What? How much share did they make? They made overall overall profit was just over a billion. Give me the number. One zero eight nine. One so zero eight nine divided by. Well, it's three hundred forty four point six percent profit. Oh, you've got percentages already in there. Stu's oh, right. Stu! <laughs> I've never met you, but thank you. I was about to do it on, like, right there. Guardians was close. It was a 200 mil budget, 660 take profit. So it was a 330% uplift. Or profit. So 6%. It's the difference. Is that what it was? Uh, 14. 14%. 14.6, if you want to get Oh, right, okay. That's where I got the 6 from. Yeah. Okay, so... But that doesn't have to The be thing good. is, I've only seen Guardians once... I've seen Age of Ultron a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Oh. Unless Steve comes back to us with something, I'll concede to Guardians Volume Two being better than Age of Ultron for the for the now. For the now, well, we've still got to just just to move things. We've still got to firm up all the other ones. Yeah, and then move Iron Man Two over there for now. So next we yeah. have Captain America: The First Avenger versus the Incredible Hulk. Oof, that would be a fight I'd actually quite like to see. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. I um, think uh, Cap would probably chip Hulk's tooth at some point with his shield because that would be like funny. But that'd he, be cool as he'd shit. He'd also feel bad for the Hulk when that happened. Yeah, so, but I think Captain America would get his yeah. ass kicked eventually. I think Hulk would tire and then give up. Really? Yeah, I think Cap would stay out of reach. Well, maybe. That's a good point. It'd Cap could like, probably do av- avoid him. But like Conor McGregor versus the Mountain. You know, when you seen them sparring, it was never anything serious. But if the Mountain had got his hands, his hands on Conor McGregor... That's it. It was game over. But how much how much did Conor really hurt him? I never watched the sparring session. He didn't really at all. They never got, he never got close enough. So... Yeah, exactly. That was the thing. He would have tired him out. But would he have tired him out? Well, I don't know. Because maybe Conor would have got tired of just... Because he's moving around he's a lot. He's using a lot more Whereas... Energy. 
The mountain was mountain just, just kind of hawking about. Exactly. You know what I mean? He's just, I, he's just existing. Mm-hmm. He was hawking up. All he's got to do is get him one clean shot. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's an interesting debate. Head, like Prince Oberyn and Martell. Oh, yes. Um, right, well, I'll start this one off. Incredible Hawk versus Captain America First Avenger. That's actually not that difficult for me. I think the Incredible Hawk was better. I thought that um, you've got a better villain in the Incredible Hulk. Yes, this is true. Much better villain. Yeah, two, technically. Yeah, two. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, whereas in Captain America First Avenger, as much as Hugo Weaving is pretty cool, he was a bit too toy moustache. Yeah. Panto, you Panto. know. Um, the CGI in Incredible Hulk was pretty incredible. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Spider-Man. Your film's reliant on that yeah. CGI. You know? Whereas the CGI in Captain America wasn't very sharp. Probably lazy because it didn't need to be. Apart yeah. from when he's small Steve. But the Hydra soldiers were... You know, that, that was cool, though. Speaking of small Steve... Oh, he just phoned us. <laughs> the, uh, the Hydra soldiers were bad, but then... <sighs> he's back! He's back! Okay. Fire it! Right. Oh. Fire it well! No. Uh, right, I do one that's done. Reverse order? Um, yes. <laughs> hang on. Great. Let's see how well I've done compared to everyone else. Right. Are you recording or not? It just makes it look still. So. Uh, yeah, we're still recording, yeah. You're close to the mic. <laughs> Please do not swear you can. Right. Okay, 16th place, Dark World. God, oh, son of a bitch. Dark World. Can we hold that? Yes. Dark World 16th, yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. You need bananas, or you just want... No, no, it? just rank. The order. Just rank it. Okay, cool. 15 Iron Man 2. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> yep, go for it. Uh, 14. Cap 1. 14 Cap 1? Wow. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay, you're brutal. Go for it. Ant-Man. Ant-Man 13. Yeah. Yep. Go for it. Suck a dick. Hulk, 12. Hulk, 12. Ooh. Suck a big green dick. 11. Thor. Yep. 10th. Iron Man, the first one. Oh, wow. Yep, yep, it's that low on mine. Considering you've got a hall of armour, that's quite brutal. Yeah, wait till you say where three lands. (laughs) Nah, I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. (laughs) What's next? Uh, Doctor Strange. Ugh. Ugh. Strange noises. N- number eight. <laughs> uh, Guardians two. Thought that number seven. Iron Man three. What? <laughs> this yeah, is turning my mind. I rate it. I like it. Um, next. Spidey Homecoming. Is sixth. You think Iron Man three is the life. best Iron Man film? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> You personal sick. opinion, what? man. Come on. Your mother was a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just hang up on him. Right, what's next? <laughs> so you give up now. Don't care. Uh, what are we at? Five. Five. Age of Ultron. Yep. Really? Yep. It's all fucked up now. Don't sound too surprised yeah, at what's left. <laughs> Well, you could have left me out of this. <laughs> Again, I asked, you're, I'm like, we should call Steve. I've fucked this for myself twice now. Twice now, you've asked Ian and Steve. <laughs> I could have had my own way and just, just steamrolled you. Oh. Oh. Right, what's next, Steve? Like I did last week. Guardians. Hey. Guardians at the four, okay. And then, let me guess, Cap 3, yeah. Avengers, Cap 2. Cap 3. No, Cap 3, Cap 2, no. Cap Avengers. Cap 3, Cap 2, then Avengers. Yeah, I remember yeah. you talking about that this morning. Wow, so yeah. you just fucked everything up. He gave Avengers a perfect 10. What? No film gets a perfect yeah. 10. It is 10. Yeah. It's in, 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 my, in my eyes, it's right up there with like Shawshank, Usual Suspects. Hang up on him. Hang up on him now. <laughs> you do like Shawshank? <laughs> I heard that, Ian. Hang up on him. You don't like Shawshank? I love Shawshank. You don't like Usual Suspects? Eh? You don't like usual suspects. I think it's more putting Avengers with them that yeah. he's, he's upset about. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I missed that bit. See, I, I, I'm straight up like, yeah. I mean, the, I like the, I like Avengers better than both those films. 
I haven't seen oh, both of those I'm films. I'm not allowed to comic book film in my top five independent film. <laughs> 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 in case you didn't hear that, folks, uh, Steve was saying Steve something about Dean. <laughs> Spider Ian, Spider Ian. <laughs> right, like, Steve, you, your opinion was absolutely <laughs> invalid, and we haven't been recording, so screw you. <laughs> <laughs> so we you guys all right. I can't wait to hear this tomorrow. We have so we've we've separated one of the splits. And we've had a healthy debate. One of the buff geek quals splits. Yeah. Yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so oh, there, well. there you have it. Right. Cheers for that, Steve. Thanks for fucking everything uh, up. Uh, yeah. See you later. <laughs> really <laughs> fucked up my back, but no, you had to be a free thinker. Well, Shit, so what does that do ever then? Well, it fires Steve from the team for a start. Right, that's okay, that's one. Um, so, so Monday, Monday, fire Steve? Yep. Right, fine. Why wait, Friday's tomorrow. Yeah, but he's written a couple of articles there. We'll get a little oh, okay. squeeze down. I'll tell you what, as soon as they're up on the site then, we send He's gone. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, so all that's going to do is help us settle some arguments if we come to a deadlock. Given there's three of us, it'd be really fucking hard to come to a deadlock. But remember my vote counts for four though. <laughs> One per mile on the guns. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I brought support. Okay, so I think oh, fucking hell. I, I like I, I want to put Incredible Hulk above Captain America. Okie dokie. But you know Steve would agree with you. Steve would agree with me. Yep. My okay. scores would not what do you think? And by you, I mean Ian, not you listening. I don't Pronouns care. About, pal. I, I, I do care Pronouns about you. I love pal. you. But. Uh, well, you know. Well, you know. <laughs> you, you, take the, you know. You, you, take, you, take the, you take the chicken. You add the walnuts. No, this is when we, we're plagiarizing you know. again. Swing the birdie birdie. <laughs> <laughs> you take the, uh, you take the, you know, you take, you take the Captain America there and you put it, you know, you put it right above the... You know the the chicken salad and the yeah, well the Incredible Hulk there. So Cap, you think Captain America goes above Incredible Hulk? Oh fucking deadlock again! Well, this is actual deadlock because two it's two v two. Two v two, right? Uh, Steve, so I tell you Steve, what, for what now, done, for now, let's just put Captain America above Incredible Hulk. But well, do you want to take it to the profit percentage and see what the the viewing public thought then. All oh, right. Oh, that's the just. Oh that's yeah. The ultimate, right. Okay, dokie. So, Incredible Hulk had a budget of a hundred and fifty mil. Cat had a budget of a hundred and forty. Incredible Hulk took hundred and thirteen point four. I uh, made hundred and thirteen point four profit. Cap made two hundred and thirty point six mil. So seventy five point six percent for Hulk. 164.7% for Cap. So Cap wins. Stu decided. Okay, Stu, thanks. You cunt. It's <laughs> another one that's getting fired. Yeah. Let's see. Never working this town again. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking, what did Kev think about this? Kev put... Um, for Hulk, better than previous Hulk films, still not great. Can tell Norton didn't want to be there. Morton Roth. Okay. Had, Hard to see how Hulk movie could ever What's be good. What's those Norton's rewrites though? That's thing. Yeah, but I think he was, yeah, I, don't know. I think it was really good, but then I could see why people would be turned off by the romance section of the film. Yeah. He also gave, so he gave it a five. He gave Cat a seven. Um, he used to give it a five point five, but he actually upped it to seven. Um, but is that thing is right? This is something I've been contemplating. I like Captain America: The First <coughs> Avenger better now than I did originally because I like Captain America the character better now. Yes, well that, that's the problem because you, you grow from Whereas the he's been developed that I'm origins. like I cannot like I cannot have anyone else but he. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then also people are like that's not Mark Ruffalo so they disassociate themselves from the Incredible Hulk. That's the problem when you recast. That's what DC could end up facing. If they do go down this, well, they won't live with the, you know... Flashpoint. Is it Flashpoint? Back, well, yeah. Are they talking about a Flashpoint movie or something? Yeah. Is that what's going on, right? So that's like Man, that's slated like, for 2000 and... Early 2019, I think. Or like 2019. That'll be, that'll be amazing if they do it right. 
because it would just be an alternate take on the universe. Thomas Wayne is Batman. I mean, that I is... now I now got it. I I didn't understand something the other day. I now realise that Martha probably becomes the Joker. Then I have no idea in the comic universe. I have no idea, but Thomas Wayne becomes Batman. That's a way to get I've Ben Affleck out there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but then he wrote, he tweeted and said, "I'm Batman. Y'all can suck a dick." Yeah. So I, yeah, but well, you you are also you are also Ben since you're listening. I think you'll find you were also telling people something similar when you were writing the script and it was going ahead and everything was fucking cool and then a week later it wasn't. So and then, <laughs> you can suck my dick, Ben. Matt Reeves looked at the script and said, this is written in crayon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it sm- it's just, I'm Batman. And it times. smells of Glen Morangy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. No, that's oh. bad. That was bad of me, actually. I wanted to try that one. more like Glenn yeah. Nah, I imagine he's more like I think he's more like an ILA guy. He'd want a really good hit. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Ardbeg. Yeah, there are plenty like of brands you probably really drink. You know. Anyway, whatever. Ian's like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm a part of this. <laughs> my, stream, my, my script isn't getting approved now. What the fuck? But a good point in Kev's notes is that Evans is very likeable. Mm-hmm. And that is what you're saying. You grow fond of him, so when you go back, you go, oh, look, there's his baby picture. There's almost, Bucky. You know. Oh, it's a Bucky friendship. You know, he's not actually dead. Okay, right, fine. So. Put it there, put it there, put it there. No, no, I get that. It's just... But I'm just I'm just saying, like, that's also going to change things a little bit. But what's her name? Did I did I end up flip-flopping on... on um... Peggy Carter? No. Be- uh, Betsy. Betsy... Betty Ross. Oh, Taylor, possibly. Yeah. I think I felt like she worked... Oh, that was it. She worked as the contrast to the Rage of the Hulk. Yes. I flip-flopped on that, but I can see why people would hate her, and I remember hating her myself for showing, which, you know, whatever. I'm okay with this. Mm-hmm. So there, there we've got Guardians of the Galaxy competing against Captain America Winter Soldier. Now, this this is actually really difficult, it's, because it's, it's they're horrible. both really fucking good. And they're both very different films. Yes. You know, you've got your espionage, and you've got your almost like... You've got your dark tone in the Winter Soldier, and you've in got contrast to your light jokey tone of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, so. better villain in Winter Soldier um, compared to. Guardians. I liked Ronan. Ronan was okay. Um, he was a bit flat though. I thought he was badass, especially yeah, he when he was, was badass. Thanos. But his character didn't do that much. He was just on a one-way mission to. Wasn't really sure who he was actually. Yeah. It was like I know you said you, you didn't like Red Skull's campiness, but he had there was more motivation about him. There was more development in a way as well. There was more kind of Ronan was just he's the executioner. I um, thought I thought Ronan was way better than the Red Skull. Yeah, but the Red Skull done more. His I think. his uh, his motivation was to kill the Cree scum, <laughs> not the Cree scum, the um, the Nova Corps. Oh yeah. He's the Cree, isn't he? Oh, I love that bit with the Nova Corps. I like oh, it when cool. I like it when he's getting when he comes out of his tomb at the start and he's getting bathed and being given his his mallet and everything. Ah, and painted sweet. and stuff. Is yeah, yeah. Uh, war paint. Aye. that was cool as fuck. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, oh, shit. What? 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 I love what, Cap too. What did I score it? What did I score it as? Let's go back to the scores. Let's go. Let's go back scores to the scores. the scores. What do you think, Ian? While we're looking. Uh, this is a hard one. Like, it's like, okay, so which one would you watch again? Uh, both of them. Yeah, you know, like, what made you then, though? Because yeah. if you're in a, like, you just want to kind of chill out and unwind a bit, you're going to go for Guardians, whereas if you're in the mood for the serious kind of... Sitting up, I've kind of got a hankering for Captain America too right now, just because I've not watched it for a while, and I really, I, did, I really did like it. Sizzling <sighs> chemistry between him and Scar Joe. But interesting, well, there is that, but um, I didn't actually like Winter Soldier that much when I first watched it. Okay, and I loved Guardians. Like I proclaimed, proclaimed Guardians to be the best, the best of the MCU when I first saw it. I went to the cinema to see Winter Soldier. Right. I think you bought me Guardians on DVD for Christmas. I did, yeah. Yeah, and I even after that, it took me a while before I sat down and watched it. And that's maybe a fault of the marketing or whatever. But then when I did watch it eventually, I, think it's well, I loved it. But they announced Guardians of the Galaxy, and nobody really. I mean, the comic didn't really take off all that much in yeah. the UK. Uh, this is a theme um, throughout the MCU is none of the comics are really, or none of the characters were really that mainstream until they were on this. Apart from Spider-Man. The comics are mainstream now because of the films. 
the characters in the comics are mainstream yeah. now. Like Guardians are right integrated into the storyline. They're grounded. They're stuck on Earth at the moment. Yeah. I mean, we went to yeah. Guardians not knowing what to expect because we didn't know anything about it. I'd heard of Rocket Raccoon. I'd heard of Star Lord, but I mean, I literally had heard of them. Yeah. And I'd heard of Gamora. I knew Gamora, of Drax. That was from the Bible. What was that? I knew of Drax. Yeah. Because I had his. Uh, I had like a these collector cards. Oh, right. Years ago, mm-hmm. um, and I had a Drax collector card. I thought this guy looked fucking badass. Oh, yeah, I used to have a Secret Wars sticker book back when I was oh, a kid. Oh, cool. Yeah? It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Nice. Complete as well. Was that the, the Korean invasion? Or the, Skr- the Skrull invasion, the Secret Wars? No. What was the Secret Wars again? That was Secret Invasion. Yeah. Hence Secret Wars. Invasion. Is Secret Wars not that one right in front of us? The one that says Secret Wars? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be it. Yeah. <laughs> I've still not got around to reading it yet. I've still this is the modern one. I think I have read this. See, actually. the problem, the problem with me reading books is that I listen to too many podcasts. But anyway, Guardians over Winter Soldier. Which one am I going to watch more readily? Do you know? I have read that. I know which one that is. That's I, not the same one you guys are talking about. No, Sorry. it's not. It's not. That's, That's the, the newer one. one yeah. Um. Fucking hell. Well, what was our scores? Let's base it on that. Right, so for Guardians of the Galaxy, I had to look there, I've forgotten what we were talking about. You gave Guardians a 9, and you gave Cap to the Winter Soldier a 9. Fuck! And so you can guess that I gave them both the same score as well. 9s? 8.5s. 8.5s. But that's why they're both next to each other, because we both We scored, scored it the same. Both. Okay, so let's add another team members. Ian. So, Ian was there for the Guardians podcast, and he gave it a 9 as well. Steve was there for the Guardians podcast. This was the first time all four of us got together. Really? I think so. Oh, that was election night. Was it? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to think about that there. I don't know why I had to go silent to think about that. but um, So, we all we all scored it. In fact, I scored it the lowest. With eight and a half, which is still a What did Steve score. give it? Nine? Nine, nine, eight and a half, nine. Okay, so what did Steve give Winter Soldier? Steve ranked them, because I, third and fourth. He gave Cap two third place and Guardians fourth place. So he, Steve chose Cap two. I choose Cap two. Ian? Oh, God. Um... Oh man, do you want to come back to me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about what about uh, Stu and Kev? Stu and Kev. Any, any so, info? Kev, what did you say about Guardians? <laughs> so, Cap Two, he gave a nine. He said the first different type of movie with thriller espionage, like we've talked about. Great characters. You get you get Bucky back in there. Um, Blah, blah, blah. And the whole infiltration shield thing, you know, all that don't trust anyone, brilliant. Guardians of the Galaxy, he also gave a 9, so thanks, Kev. That doesn't help us at all. As different as Winter Soldier was, this was next level. Villain is a little disappointing, so kind of what I said as well, but other than that, everything's spot on. Great expansion of the universe, that's true. Guardians opened that's up. very hard to do. Yeah. Whereas Cap almost went smaller. Yeah. Cap almost, in a way, almost destroyed. Get rid of the universe them. because it was like shield the sort of infrastructure yeah. of the of Earth is actually compromised. And Guardians basically had no fanfare, no one really knew who they were, and managed to create a whole new galaxy. They managed to introduce Thanos, they managed to get the Infinity Exposition, as Kev's wrote here. Um, so and they provided us with a villain that was up for taking on Thanos. Whereas no, Loki was Loki was literally a bitch compared to Thanos' fucking minion. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. that makes you go, fuck, this, this Ronin guy must be actually pretty solid. What I find really interesting about this is we have all rated both films as equal. Fuck. All of us. Five of us. Every one of us. Equal. I was just about to say, I'd probably... Who's, the six, who, who's not counted in that? Uh, Stu doesn't have his own personal scores in here. Oh, shit. Right. Um, so, he... Did, did I score Captain America? No, you're not done it yet. Yeah. Oh. Wait, well, score it, motherfucker. Well, I was is, it, to... is it better than Guardians? <laughs> See, I might have to give that a nine as well. See, this this is the thing. They are They're both, both so freaking good in yeah. different ways. But are, uh, don't Iron Man and Spider Man aren't they both 
nines too. Iron Man and Spider Man, yeah, I gave them both nines. Okay. That was the difference between the eight and a half and the nine, so it was my score that topped it. Put them differently. Because I think we're going to have to really look at the top, at those four right now, because. Are these four as equal? Are they, are, is Iron Man, Spider Man, Homecoming, Guardians, and Cap 2 all equal? So what's everyone else got? Uh, What's everyone got for Iron Man and Spider Man? So. The scores here, Iron Man, Spider Man, nine 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 between me and you. Right. We're the only ones who've done those podcast. No, that's a lie. Steve gave Spidey eight and a half. He rated it as sixth, where he rated Iron Man as tenth. Wow. So. Yeah, he did. Uh, he didn't like Iron Man that much, did he? But just, it's just weird. Because it's fucking great. Yeah. And Steve, you're wrong. Yeah. Everyone's got opinions, but some people's are more wrong than others. Exactly. Exactly. Thinking? Yeah. Uh, I would probably give Iron Man an 8. So you think Iron Man's less than Guardians and Captain America, Winter Soldier? That's uh, up for debates. Interesting. So Iron Man. Spider-Man Homecoming. Spidey. So we'll put these four together. Do you know what? I'm just going to throw it out there. I think that Guardians and Captain America are better than Spider-Man. Right, okay. Homecoming. Right. Not by much. Mm-hmm. But I'd be more excited to watch Winter Soldier again and Guardians. I'm dying to watch Spider-Man again. See, I... I've seen it twice already. Have you? Oh, uh, I'm dying to watch it a second time now. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. And I just want to let everyone know that we're on... 46 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to end up having to stick with most of the ranking we have and then just kind of more agree in the top five or... No, we'll just, we'll just do it by the numbers. By literally by the numbers and Steve's numbers are going to fucking crush everyone. <laughs> Steve's going to be the decider. Steve and Ian. Possibly, yeah. Which is kind of annoying because we watched all the films and you didn't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Swoop in and get all the glory, eh? Right, right. That's how he does it. You, depends if you count Thor or not. Just call me Hogan. <laughs> That's, that ain't going to work for me, brother. Hashtag yeah, wrestling, my friends. <laughs> That's where we at. We're waiting on you deciding, motherfucker Jesus. Deciding what? what? Motherfucker Jesus. Yeah, I you, think he is. <laughs> well, we want, we said Guardians or, or Winter Soldier, and you're still trying to decide. I think I also asked you where do you put Spider Man and Iron Man. Guardians Winter Soldier. I t- told you, Guardians Winter Soldier. Did you? Yeah. What did you say again? I said they were both nines. Oh, yeah, yeah, but we need, you, right. we need you to split the difference. Tough shit. I said they're both nines. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if one of us is going to decide, I'll decide. Where's Iron Man and Spider Man coming into this then? See, I enjoyed Spider Man way more than Iron Man. Really? Yeah. But you loved Iron Man. Spider Man hit it for me. Spider Man had, it, had the humour and it, it had the. for me as well. The, <laughs> Origins. See, I think Iron Man's better than Spider Man. But you've also got to remember, this is ten years ago. The writing of ten years ago, yeah, so yeah. it is a little bit more of a. This is how you do a superhero film. They've had time to perfect their craft, but that's what I think they've done. It's they've, they've this film. Yeah, it's maybe only been written in a couple of years or whatever, but it's been. It's pro- it must have been thought about in the backs of people's minds for years because the stuff they've got in it's just brilliant. <laughs> Well, what's the numbers? The figures? The figures for what? For uh, Iron Man versus Spider-Man. Yeah, with everyone else. Right, so Iron Man had a budget of 140 mil. Spidey had 175. Iron Man brought in 445 profit. As of writing this, Spidey had brought in 396.7 profit. So Spidey's got to do quite a bit more. That, that doesn't feel right. No, I actually I was checking out something this weekend. Spidey's not done as, as much no. as expected. So, and and in a way, it's kind of a, I don't want to say it's a bomb, but for a big summer blockbuster movie with Spider Man and Iron Man and the whole, mm-hmm. it kind of is a bomb for in a way. An MCU movie as well. But it's um, probably going to get Sars tank from a uh, Dunkirk this week as well, also. So Iron Man so did last week. <laughs> Iron Man wins US. on profit percentage. Okay, and what about everyone else? Um, so Steve brings Iron Man way down. Yep, Steve brings it down. Kev agrees with 
us. Iron Man won. Um, he gave it a seven. Excellent setup. Great starting point. Weak villain slash motivation. And um, what was the other film? It was Spider Man. Spidey is got Spidey. 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 Eight point five. And Iron Man was seven. Seven. Fuck. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I think, I think Captain America, Winter Soldier, and Guardians are above Spider-Man: Homecoming. Yeah, okay. And are they above Iron Man? I would go. Homecoming, Iron Man, Guardians, Winter Soldier. That's caption one's thinking, one's thinking. <clears throat> right, um I would go Spidey Cap, Iron Man, Guardians. Ah, and it's so close. I mean it's just like full finish shit, you know? But I would have Spidey in top three. Right, we we I think we're going to do it old school. Yep, arm wrestle. Yep. <laughs> you got no chance. Let's go. <laughs> um, I think more. we take all four of them off, <laughs> mix them around, <laughs> and draw pick. and draw. Oh man, there's no size. To well, let's well let's just see what we get. Let's at least put everything in one order, then we can. T- Argue the toss of it. See, we don't have to do this, David. You can hold him down. I'll punch him in the dick until he passes out. Then. <laughs> My dick will break your hand. <laughs> My dick will break your hand. <laughs> like, get a bonus point. Crash. <laughs> Be like, look, Kate. And you're just lucky that, it, that it's not it's not John Dobe's dick. Because it's bigger than the Buff Geek's dick. It's like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Hulk Hogan's dick's pretty big. Uh, but Terry Balea's dick is see, massive. See, when you're screaming in pain, you know what I'm going to say? What you gonna do, brother? <laughs> what you gonna do, brother? No, no, no. Hogan claimed that oh, uh, the way around? Hulk Hogan's dick was bigger than Terry Bollier's. Oh, did he? <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought I thought it was the other way around, which made it even more funny. No, no, no. It was the fact it was so funny by the fact that he said I wasn't talking about his penis. I was talking about Hulk Hogan's penis. And is Hulk Hogan's penis bigger than Terry Bollier's penis? No, it's not. <laughs> that's, he said that under oath to the judge. That's <laughs> it's the funniest video I've ever seen. <laughs> is there a video of it? Yeah. Oh, I need to see this. Court, courtroom evidence. Right, okay, the second one is the is the last one on the list. The second one the second one from me. Guardians of the Galaxy. Fucking hell. Okay, the fun one closest right. to you is the next. Spider Man Homecoming. That wasn't the one closest to you. Oh closest to me. Oh yeah, yeah. But at least we're over Spider Man. But it's okay, Homecoming. put Spider Man up there, Spider-Man. put Spider Man up there. Cat winter soldier. Oh fucking shit! Do 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 yourself <laughs> Okay, right hand. Even the Spidey point. Homecoming. So it's just dropped out of the top three. So, top. I think we can agree Avengers Assemble, Assemble is number two. I think. Is anyone going to argue that that's... Age of Ultron was a number two, I tell you. Uh, if it was, it was a sequel. I think we can all agree that Civil War is number one. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. And when Infinity War comes... It's what do you gonna... think? What do you think? Do you not, you not think so? Happy to go with that. Okay. Right, so as it stands, we've got... From bottom to top, Ant-Man, Iron Man 3, Thor 2, D- Doctor Strange, Age of Ultron, Guardians 2, Iron Man 2, Incredible Hulk, Captain America, First Avenger, Thor, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Iron Man, Avengers, and Civil War. No, this is not right. I was going to no. say, no. Doesn't feel right. I was going to start the bar. I mean, you ever play Monopoly when you start running out of money and you make up crazy shit? Oh my god, we should, actually, we should have actually... Dealt out money and then we, we buy our way for things. Well, I was going to say, I will leave Ant Man at the bottom of this list. Right, right. If you let me move Spidey up one. <laughs> you know, I like having Ant Man at the bottom, so that means you're going to be with me on that <laughs> man thing. I will accept Ant Man as the worst film for Spidey to go into number three. You're a fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he will. <laughs> That means I've got your vote. He, no, he, he has to be creative as well. Alright, oh, okay, so are you gonna, what are you going to give him? Would you agree that Spidey's number three? <laughs> this is just going to a whole other level of insanity. <laughs> it's all work. Um, would you agree that Spidey's number three? I would put Spidey at number three. Would you agree that Ant-Man should be last? No. Right. 
So, we need to come up with another deal. <laughs> okay, so... So let's move Spidey to number three. I'll, and I'll, then tell, you bo- I'll tell you both how it is. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy and Winter Soldier should be three and four. Well, your system denied that happening. <laughs> <laughs> totally did. <laughs> yeah, I know, but we just picked it random just to you make it. You can't change Iron Man to Guardians at the moment because you put them in those just places. Them there. <laughs> I randomly chose to make things to move things forward. <laughs> that was that. That wasn't the buff geek. The that random, was the master of ceremonies. The random buff geek generator decided. <laughs> okay, so the, that that was the master of ceremonies trying to move things forward. The buff geek <laughs> just totally buffed it up, man. It's, it, it, <laughs> I don't. I don't think Iron Man is is the third best film. No, I, I agree on that one. Should and I put Spider Man on one. Yeah, probably should just take Iron Man out of there, put Spider in number three. The deal for Ant Man is off the table because you suggested Iron Man come out of number three. So I'm a hard one monopoly player. Eh? I'm you're, a you're the worst. How is that how is that the case? You've taken Iron Man out, so we've got to decide where it's going, so Spidey automatically moves up. If you put Iron Man in here... I don't think that's how it works. This is how it works now. That's not how it works now. Move it down. Move what down? Spider-Man. Oh, are you saying Iron Man comes out so something else has to go to number three? I think Spider-Man, Captain America and Guardians are are all up for debate. Then... Okay, tell you what, tell you what, boys. Tell you what, boys. How about this? How about this? (laughs) How about this? How about this? I hope you guys are keeping up at home. I know, right? I'm I, not... think, I think it switched off about 20 minutes ago. I right? wonder, I can't, I, can't, I can't decide if this is really interesting or really shit. I don't know. I think it's slightly different from what they're used to listening to. I think it'll be... Pretty funny to listen to people fucking to argue. It, yeah. um, You're wrong. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking marked out for that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that I've got a bit of a boner right now for wanting to watch Winter Soldier again. That's just for Scarjo. So I tell you what, right? How about we take Winter Soldier and make it number three, right? I will and we, theorize and, with you right now. And we move Guardians up one, and we put Iron Man underneath Guardians. How about that? How does that sit with you? It's okay. I know you want Spider Man in the top three, but is it really better than Winter Soldier? <sighs> It's hard to is again. Is it, is it though? Again, it's comparing two different films, isn't it? It's like saying it's like it was funny though. Two absolutely amazing films, like comparing the Pick of Destiny to Terminator Two. You know what I mean? Just... Yeah, but Terminator Two is obviously better. No, Pick of Destiny, but it's different films. It's hard to compare. No, you can't compare apples and oranges. Okay. Right. See, next, I think we should take Ant Man. Right, let's see. Let's let's get back to this then. <laughs> right. We're not fixated on anything. Take, take Ant Man. And put it in between <laughs> Captain America and Incredible Hulk. No fucking way. So you want that up there? No way is Ant-Man better than Avengers Age of Ultron Guardians Volume 2. It's not, go- be- it's not I, better than Incredible Hulk or first... Nah. I'm going to say that it, it belongs in that area. I would put Ant-Man between Guardians 2 and Age of Ultron, I think. I would I would agree it's better than Doctor Strange, Thor 2 and Iron Man 3, but I would put Thor 2 at the bottom of the list, personally. I'd go with that. Um, so... I would... I would agree with Ant-Man going... I'd allow it to go as high as Thor 2. So just below Doctor Strange. So move Iron Man to the bottom, Thor 2 to second bottom... And then Doctor Strange then Iron Man. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but the problem is is that Steve thinks Iron Man 3 is fantastic. Yes, he does. So that's already fucked it. So where's he got Iron Man 3, 4 and Ant-Man? So Cause Steve... That's, I think that's a reasonable decider in this one. So Steve has got Iron Man 3 as 7th. He's got Ant-Man as 13th, which I think is where he's sitting now. 16th, 14th. And he's got, what's the other one? Doctor Strange yeah. as 9th. What about Dark World? Dark World, he's got a 16th, he's got that as his worst film, I agree with Steve wholeheartedly on this one. Okay, but the problem is, is that we all kind of felt reasonably similar to about to Iron Man 3, didn't we? So scores, he's got it way higher. Scores for Iron Man 3, you gave it a 5, I gave it a 7.5. You? I would give it about a 7.5. Iron Man 3 got your lowest score. No, I'm did. 
Ant Man and Iron Man Three got fives. Yeah, they're wank. They're wanks. The difference being, I actually scored Iron Man Three higher than Ant Man, but I scored Dark World pretty low. I hope. Okay, well. I gave it a six and a half. Dark World was my lowest score. You point. like Ant Man. So so, Steve thinks Iron Man Three is fantastic. Mm. So what does Kev think? <laughs> Kev, what do you think? So, Kev, you might have to decide this one. So Kev has given one hour. <laughs> <laughs> he gave Thor two a four, so he's the same as us. He that's his lowest score in here. You mean Thor three? Thor two, sorry. Thor two a four. Right. Okay. And he gave Iron Man three a five. So yeah. He's he's agreeing that they're. Okay. He's getting their shit, so... Well, I think but most then... of us agree that Thor 2 is the worst film in the MCU. Right, fine, put it at the bottom. But then... Uh, but then I think Thor 3 could be one of the best. Yeah. Iron Man 3, still, Steve thinks, is way better. Yeah. Like, re- like, a really high score. He's an anomaly. Well, but he's got a really high score for it, whereas we're like, the other scores are kind of the same or so-so. So surely Iron Man 3's got to go up there, as much as I don't really want it to. I gave it a seven and a half, which puts it ahead of Dark World, puts it ahead of Iron Man 2, and ahead of Incredible Hulk, equal with Age of Ultron. You gave it a five, which we've already discussed, no one else has scored it, um, so it's between us two to agree on those ones. I would settle for oh, Iron Man 3 uh, as far as percentages go yep. having a quick squiz at the profit percentage yep. Iron Man 3 is second <laughs> to Avengers Assemble fuck so based on that and Steve 200 mil, a 200 mil budget 1 billion intake fucking shit does that put it in top five then? It's got to, right? Based on that and the fact that Steve put it in really, really high. I think it needs to go a lot higher. I prefer Iron Man 3 to Iron Man 2. I don't know if my scores agree with that. Yeah, they do. My scores agree with that. I gave Iron Man 2 a 7. Iron Man 3 a 7.5. So, where does Iron Man 3 belong? I would say between Cap and Incredible Hulk, personally. Ian? Yeah, I go with that. But. Okay. If, if that makes. If that's backed up by the numbers, then yeah. Well, I mean, according to the numbers, it should be second if you go by profit. I'm yeah, not, but I mean, I mean, I mean, profit plus our scores. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's sitting about there. I would never say it was better than Cap First Avenger. Okay, and then at instant eyeballing for me, I feel like. I feel like we're getting close. I think we're getting closer. How are you feeling about it, Ian? You think Ant, Ant- Man needs to be way higher? I do. He's still on that, yeah. He's still on Ant Man. Well, I'll tell you what. Tell us why. Eh? Tell us why. Tell me why, oh, because well. I think it's shit. Like, really shit. And five was like me pushing it. I enjoyed it for the comedy, uh, for the introduction of the character. I can't really explain it, I just digged it, I thought it was pretty awesome. It does hit a certain, I don't know, it's almost like the National Lampoon film of the MCU, if that makes sense. It's kind of the... What, what about going underneath? After the, the first two, after the first two minutes it went downhill for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about going where? Underneath Iron Man 3. Above Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2 and Guardians Volume 2. I don't know if I would rate it or, above Guardians Or Age 2. of Ultron. See, I don't think Guardians 2 belongs there. You yeah, think it's be higher? Be yeah. Jinx. Hmm. Right, let, right we're, going to have to, we're going to have to tighten this up now. So yep. basically, whatever our scores say, and if you give a score just right now on it, right. and then we're going to have to use the the, 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 the money, the public as the... the Basically, the public is going to be the deciding voice, I suppose. Right, okay, so let's look at it this way. We agree on Thor of the Dark World. Yeah, I yeah. think that actually made the worst money. So Thor to the Dark World, having a quick look 
No, it didn't. Um, it made two hundred seventy nine percent. Just eyeballing. Spidey Homecoming two two six. Guardians two three two. It's not finished. It's run yet though. Thor, Incredible Hulk, and Cap, First Avenger, and Iron Man two are all underneath it as well. So it didn't yeah, but we've all we don't actually need to help we don't, help deciding Thor. We've agreed to, Thor's bottom. We agreed Doctor Strange. Basically, due to be, Jane Foster. Yeah, Doctor Strange should be about. Yeah. There, I reckon. Age of Ultron. We're kind of happy with where it is. Yeah. So it yeah. should be about here as well. Guardians Volume Two. That's up for debate, isn't it? Yeah. Iron Man Two. We agree it should be about there. Mm-hmm. And then Hulk with it. I I I would. Put Hulk below Iron Man 2, maybe? Oh, fuck. I'd be up for that. Nah, what is it? Yeah? Yeah. That's fine. So, oh, yeah. So, Iron Man 2 there. Hulk there. Iron Man 3 above Iron Man 2. Thanks, Steve. Captain America First Avenger. We agree that should be there. Up underneath Thor. Yeah. For me, yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. But I, I like them both. But could Cap- could Guardians 2... It feels like I want to put it somewhere better, but then I think, hmm... I think on second viewing, you might actually find that Guardians 2... It's pretty tasty. Is, I was going to say forced, because the, the jokes were fresh first time, but then second time you watch it, you might be like, yeah, okay, it was funny first time, but yeah, actually you can see how strange that is. I'm not saying it is, but... That's, that's the disadvantage Guardians and Spidey have got. And Doc Strange in my case because I've only watched them once, and I'm quite happy to kind of disregard Doc Strange. You could put Ant Man above Doc Strange. Right. I'll let it sneak up to there so far. I would agree with that in a sense because I do really enjoy Age of Ultron. I think I, I think Age of Ultron is is better than Ant Man. Yeah, I think so. And you've got so much quality in Ant Man and in, in, in Age of Ultron, like you've got. So there's the, there's the bad bits, but Ultron is is quite funny. You've got all the. Uh, all the banter when they're they're chilling at um, Avengers Tower or yep. Stark Tower at the time, I think maybe. Um, it was the fight Stark scenes. Tower, you're right. yeah, the fight scenes are pretty fucking sweet. No, no, it was Avengers Tower because remember the drones coming and flying yeah. to the big A. Yep. You've got the Hulk Buster thing. Oh, I forgot about the Hulk Buster. Yeah. See, I mean, yeah. but then Ant Man, and if I'm not going to just be horrible about it, you've got kind of a generic superhero star. What's cool about it? I don't know. Yeah, Age of Ultron. Cody Stoll is a worse villain than 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 Ultron. Uh, he's not as bad as Red Skull. I don't think. Because yeah, sinister, he's not quite as bad as Red there's Skull. A sinister missed him, which I quite liked. Um, jump in here anytime. No, I'm just to it Paul again, Paul Rudd. I like him, he's but I don't like I, I I don't like him as Ant Man. Well, yeah, I like he, him in other stuff. Mm. Slap at the base. Slap at the base, star. I'll nod and agree. You should. You know what I'm talking about, I don't know you? What I'm talking about, yeah. 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 I love you, man. I love you too, man. <laughs> I've not seen it. Um, so good, right? That's great. But See, if that was in there, that'd be like a. That's like top five. <laughs> thing is, for Scott Lang, yeah. in that character, Paul Rudd is spot on. All right, okay. Uh, that, that's, that's the thing. I mean, some portrayals aren't like as you'd expect. Like, going back to Red Skull again, you'd expect him to be. Maybe a bit like he was, but a bit more sinister and a bit less, here is my plot. <laughs> mm. You know? The problem with Age of Ultron is that the story was a little bit off, and sometimes the humour was forced. And Ultron himself they, was they made a him cheap too... copy. Yeah. He wasn't Ultron. No. I was going to say, the first trailer that they released for Age of Ultron came across as such a badass. Yeah. And then you end up watching a film, and it was just like a total parody. It was, uh-huh. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Although James Spader... Good, good voice. voice. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. But, but then if you if you look at Ant Man, Corey Soul wasn't so good. Evangeline Lilly wasn't very good. I don't think. Okay. I didn't like her fat bulb haircut. Yeah. But uh, she was. And it was. <laughs> it felt. I felt like Ant Man was kind of like the whole Pym thing was kind of forced into the universe. I like Pym Tech. I like that they made I think like a generation or two older than the Avengers rather than. Being the same age as all the Avengers, I like that that they brought in this sort of old idea the, of legacy. I think the second one will be good. Yeah. Do you see who they've cast for the original Wasp? Michelle Pfeiffer. Mm. So is she going to be flashbacks or is she going to be returning? I think she returns. 
Yeah, I'd say so too. And probably, oh no, I was going to say she shouldn't have aged. But then it's Michelle Pfeiffer, she has aged. Age of Ultron, does, that, of does that go up then? What's, what's, what's Steve got it at? Age of Ultron for Steve is fifth. Fuck, so it needs to go up. Yep. This is messing everything up. What time are we at? We're an hour and ten. <laughs> I hope you guys 10. haven't switched off to this because this is meant to be like the, the pinnacle, the, the climax the of the climax. series. Part one. We're going to have more to do. Have you seen the Infinity War trailer, by the way? I won't watch it until it's released properly. I'm not going to watch it until it's released properly. I won't so, do it. Right, Avengers Age of Ultron has It's like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to smash an ugly board early on in the night when I think I can get a tasty board at the end. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or get more drunk and make her look tasty. <laughs> well, I <aye>, whatever. <laughs> right, okay. So taking Age of Ultron and Guardians 2 out of it, that rundown, to me, starts to feel more like when it should be at. Okay. Start, I mean. Where's Steve got Ant Man? Steve. I, Against Incredible Hulk and Iron Man 2. So Ant Man, he put his 13th. Incredible Hulk, he put his 12th. And Iron Man 2, he put his 15th. So he goes Hulk, Ant Man, Iron Man 3. Uh, Iron Man 2. I'd buy that for a dollar if you guys are okay with it. What what Steve ranked them as? That 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 version of it, yeah. So Ant Man Move Ant Man up a little bit and give Iron Man to the drop. To but I really couldn't give Ant Man any more than that. That's fair. Unless, yeah, unless, I, you, unless I, you have I, something for me. Let, let's negotiate. Let's I'm just... trying I'm trying to move it up for you, but I I prefer it to it, incredible yeah. hope, but the so are we going to put Guardians of the Galaxy below Iron Man 3 or? I think <clears throat> I think we should put Guardians of the Galaxy below Iron Man 3 and Avengers Age of Ultron underneath Guardians. I was a good, I was thinking similar to be honest. How do you feel about that? I was going to say stick under the Incredible Hulk but What Avengers? Yeah. Really? I, I can't agree with that one. I prefer Ant Man to Incredible Hulk. I'm not seceding Avengers to Incredible Hulk as well. But that's that's me. I'm not in control. I'm just the one in charge. Yeah. <laughs> um, looking at it so far, I mean, I want to make it clear here that there's things about this order that I dislike. I think Iron Man, I think Iron Man three and Ant Man fucking suck big style and need to be in the bottom three. So they're way higher than I was expecting. Anything you want to give <clears throat> about things you don't like? Spider Man isn't in the top three, but okay. but then <laughs> he is losing out to Cap two, so I'm not going to complain. If he was losing out to Incredible Hulk, all y'all would have black eyes. Yeah. yeah okay. Um. So is that the only one that really the only thing you'd really take umbrage with? Like Ant Man and Iron Man three is see, my one. See ones. when you get to the middle. It's tough, eh? Yeah, it's really tough, and it's it's not like. Guardians is a million miles ahead of Guardians 2, even though there's like one, two, three, four films in between them. They're all quality. You know, they're just slightly lesser quality. They're like raggy dolls or something. I don't know. They're mm-hmm. just <laughs> Like, how do you feel? Is it what was what what's what's bothering you right now? It was just a whole atmosphere scenario, but apart from that. Okay. So you really like Ant and Man to be higher, I really want it to be I want it to be lower still. And I'm Iron Man three I'm is Goldilocks where it is. Is 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 uh, beefed up with Steve and where does Steve feel about Ant Man? Was it thirteenth or something? Thirteenth didn't he? He didn't like it that much. No. So it's pretty pretty good right there, you know. Um it, it did better than Thor two for the What are you up to? You're doing something. No, no, you're about with something. Okay, so right now I'm feeling very comfortable with Captain America Civil War being number one. Yeah, it's funny that like the top two have just not been up for debate in the slightest. We're all just like, yes. Although, uh, although, oh, just open your juice. Don't do all the coughing thing, Jesus. The dude was like, ah. but he didn't actually try to open it. Oh, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> and I thought, oh no, oh my god! Just bottled it, so to speak. <laughs> so, what if we moved moved Avengers? Which one? Assemble. Nope. 
the numbers, everything. Would I mean you've got Avengers as a nine and a half? That is the joint equal score with Civil War. What have I got? Winter Soldier as. Winter Soldier, you have got as a nine. Mm. Uh, <laughs> wow, you're just the worst at all things, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so right now as it stands, we've got Captain America 3 Civil War, Avengers Assemble, Captain America 2 The Winter Soldier, Spider-Man Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy, Iron Man, then we have Thor, which we're getting to the middle section, which is kind of muddy, I think. Yeah. At, it's, it's, we've got Thor, Captain America like The First Avenger, same. Iron Man 3, Guardians Volume 2, I think a lot of people would put Guardians Volume 2 a lot higher. Mm-hmm. I think they'd get carried away in the fact they made them laugh so much yep. rather than the quality of the film. Then we've got Avengers Age of Ultron and the Incredible Hulk. I mean, I feel like the Incredible Hulk did more than Ant-Man did in terms of setting anything up. Or, and like Incredible Hulk had a better villain than Ant-Man. Yeah, had a better villain. Okay, but... had a better lead actor. The love lead interest. The love interest was as so-so as 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 the Wasp. Because I didn't think the love interest in either was was that good. The old guy actor was better in Incredible Hulk. No, I'm saying I'm not saying he's better than Michael Douglas overall. I'm just saying he was Colonel Ross was a was a better mm-hmm. like was more. He's got he's really impactful. He's the only reason that you are, you connect Hulk to the MCU because he was in yeah H- uh, Civil War. I mean, you've kind of got two cool villains in three cool villains in Incredible Hulk because you've got Tim Roth and then yeah. you've got the Abomination yeah yeah and then Society you've got and then, yeah. Colonel Ross so I mean this is your chance Ian, to try and convince me that Ant-Man has, has got something more than Incredible Hulk I'm trying to help you <laughs> but you've got to do the work for it see I think the problem with Incredible Hulk and the reason people are so sort of nah about it, it is because it doesn't feel like you said earlier they've got a different actor in there from who it is now so it feels disjointed from the MCU I mean, if they went back and for the DVDs shot like a scene with Hawkeye or Black Widow and plopped them in there mm-hmm. that would just tidy things up and a little bit and the thing bit. is Iron Man refers Iron Man has like Tony Stark goes and speaks to Colonel Ross at the end yeah. Of Hulk, and in Iron Man, you see footage from the Hulk. How the pumped were you for the post credit scene? What was the post credit scene on Ant Man? I can't remember. Was it maybe Civil War? Or... Yes, it was. It was um, when they had Bucky yeah. in his arm and the vice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I think that Incredible Hulk and Ant Man both feel like they're not totally part of the MCU. The difference between the two is the reason Hulk doesn't feel like it is because it's a different actor. Whereas yes. There's no reason for me why Ant-Man... Ant-Man feels forced. The Falcon scene feels forced. The whole thing feels forced. I fucking hate it. I can't believe it. But why is Iron Man 2 underneath it? What the fuck have I been doing? Not paying attention. <laughs> being too fucking kind. That's it. You, you agreed to that. That's when ScarJo first comes into it and she's looking super oh, hot. Oh, that tight shirt. Yep, and you've got <laughs> War Machine. Boobs. And you've I'm got... Not, not from War Machine, that was just yeah, yeah. timing. And, <laughs> and, and, and then you've got <laughs> Sam Rockwell yeah. and he's so fucking funny. Come on, well, really? Iron Man 2's better. The film just... The film itself was just... Boring. Okay, it didn't make it so much sense. It was, just, some... it was just... It was almost formulaic. No! <laughs> well, if, if you're talking formulaic, you're talking Ant-Man. Yeah, and that's why it's sitting. In fact, Ant Man should be third from the bottom. Mm. Does anything support my theory? No, Can you tell me Ant Man ended up where he was because nothing supported that theory. <laughs> Everything supported the. Reverse. Everything supports Iron Man Two's shit. Everything supports that Iron Man Two is not as high as Ant Man. Well, fuck it. Um, I think I think we go with it. I think we're done. I'm kind of surprised that no one's trying to fight me on four. Thor, again... Thor's really quite high, but then I look at everything else and think, Thor's pretty fucking sweet. Thor but, was a good film. The first one was good. And the thing is, like I was saying before, between Guardians and Guardians, you've got... Well, you've got three origin movies, four if you include the first Guardians. Yeah. And they were all good s- scene setters. Yeah. Iron Man kind of special weight because it was the universe set. The first one. Yeah, and straight off the bat, they're like, I want to talk to you about the Avengers Initiative. 
And you're like, oh my god, I can't believe, can you imagine if they actually went and did that? Can you imagine if they actually... It's like, Sam, can I just splurge up the cinema screen? You know? Absolutely. So, are we going with it? I'm happy to go with that, Lex. You want to tighten that shit up a little bit then, Hudson? What do you mean? Well, there's, there's some big spaces. Yeah, that's fine. We're not, this was just to help us think. Okay, you're going to make a... You're going to make a final picture of it. I'm going to make a article on the website about this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, people, if they want to, if they look at the article and think, do you know, I want to listen to an hour and 20 minutes of people talking about these, this subject, they'll go for it. Do you know if you shout smile, my phone takes a picture? <laughs> smile. 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 You have to say, say it again. Smile. <laughs> what a smile. Anyway, yeah. Your phone probably spot. does that too, guys. You know. Right. Well, that's the that's that's it. Them's we got it. Shall we go through the list one more time? Yes, go for it. Let's go one each. Starting from the bottom. Okay. Starting from the bottom is the worst film in the MCU, and that's Thor 2 The Dark World. Followed by Doctor Strange. And then it's Iron Man 2 sitting on top of them. And then we've got Ant Man. <laughs> I bet you're so pleased that you got to announce that one. <sighs> Followed by The Incredible Hulk. And Avengers Age of Ultron. And then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Iron Man 3. Cap, First Avenger. Thor. Iron Man. Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Spider-Man Homecoming. Should be third. Captain America 2 The Winter Soldier. Avengers Assemble. And, and the number one film is Captain America 3 Civil War. So at number one for the second running, running. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, from start to finish it stayed top. And you can't argue with it. You've got the ensemble cast. You've got the great action sequences again. It's just, it you is got, the best you so got far. Tony Stank. <laughs> Tony Stank. I got a partial for Tony Stank. Like... <laughs> That's, I, I, I'm pretty okay with this. That's a decent list. It's, I'm pretty okay was, with this. We knew when we were going through this, we'd have to wreck on it, and we were never going to be happy with the order. And the, and we probably knew that the top five were going to be about, well, we're, we're going to be that. Here's what we need from you guys. We need to know, do you agree? What do you disagree on? Give us your list. Just straight up give us your list. Yeah, start posting the lists and tell us where we got it wrong. And commentate on them too and say, this should be here because this, this is here because of this. I want to hear that, you know, Ian is right, Ant-Man's fucking amazing. I want to hear that Ian is wrong, Ant-Man's fucking bollocks. I prefer it when Ian is wrong. Um, you know, maybe you think Guardians of the Galaxy Vol- Volume 2 needs to be way higher. I think a lot of people would take Guardians 2 and put it under Guardians. And above everything else that's yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need to go back and watch Iron Man again, motherfuckers, because that was ten years ago. Nine, technically, before everyone gets a fucking hard on. It was Sixteen weeks ago for us, bitches. Oh yes, it was. So maybe, maybe go watch it. Maybe go watch the order. Maybe it's- Ian could actually watch some of the films as well. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> films just not recently. <laughs> Almost closer to sixteen years ago than sixteen weeks. So I can't believe that's it. Yeah, there we go. You got that awkward empty feeling in your life now. No, because we've actually got Game of Thrones. Yes. And we're about to film the Game of Thrones episode 2, season 7 episode. Yes, we are. Buff geek, buff geek, buff geek, buff geek, buff geek, buff geek, buff geek. That's nice. Anyway. Wiener, fluffy wiener, fluffy wiener. I was going to say it. One wiener. Next to another wiener, floppy wiener, floppy wiener. Oh, right, I thought you were going into like pirates and men's pants then, or something like that. No. No, right, okay. I don't right. know any other versions. <laughs> wow, so I feel a little bit empty. I feel like I've I, I, a little I feel bit like spent. I feel like we should like thank everyone who's made this possible. Thanks to me. Yeah, I, I want to thank myself for um, watching all those films every single darn week. I want to thank myself for having a perfect score and watching every darn film. I'm amazing. I want to thank me for holding back my intense hatred for this evening's uh, session. And uh, <laughs> two seconds, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Screen, big it. Um, I want to thank me for not being overpowering and giving my opinion as the ultimate opinion. 
and actually hold them back a bit. I want to thank myself for the same. I actually want to thank the guys who've been listening, especially the ones yes. who've been listening to every single one of us Rambly Rambles podcasts. Tangential. You know that's a word. Tangential. Yes. Brilliant. As in to go off in a tangent. Yes. Well, that's something that I tried to avoid in this one. <laughs> I thought you were going to say yes. I figured that one out then. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. I think that there's folks out there who've listened to sixteen of these. We should have an MCU week. review series party, and and get like higher transport for everyone, so we could get like a, a Ford Fiesta, or <laughs> <laughs> or a Lion Robin, and this on micro, <laughs> and go where? Just cruising. Just cruising. Ah, just cruising. Citroen C five. Get the get the base going. Hang out the window. Shout MCU. Yeah. And anyone else who drive past MCU. some. I'm not MCU. letting you drive. You're too aggressive. I'm an awesome driver. You drive like a short person. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Steve drives. Like an old person. Does he? Yep. <laughs> I drive with. Steve's his, very safe. I try and make it as smooth and perfect as possible I don't know I, that's what I think I try and do you've how been, do you you've, drive? you've been in the car with me I haven't did. I don't know how was it he texts me three times saying I'm going to die <laughs> 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 oh lord oh lord <laughs> was, was one of the days the car is totally fucking iced up to shit yeah yeah we were up in the car park he, yeah. and I'm sitting there like scraping it away and he's just sitting oh, in the car waiting yeah. on me with the heating on heated windscreen ah oh, it's, it's, it's the nuts nuts just push a button, the window clears. Yeah, but I want to get it to happen faster. Yeah, it happens pretty freaking fast. Maybe, anyway. I don't, maybe I don't have that function in my car, I don't know. If you guys want to party, let us know. <laughs> hey bud, let's party. Let's party. <laughs> let's give, party. I'll give 10 bonus points to anybody out there who knows what that's from. What's your 10 bonus points equal to? I don't know. I think I'll, like I'll, uh, or like... I'll, I'll give you a special mention on the, the website. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Nice. A name drop. A wee name drop. What is the website? What's the web address? www.thebuffgeekpodcast.wordpress.com <laughs> 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 He's so close. He's so, so close. close. Oh, it's, it, it forces you to have blog in there. Oh, does uh, it? Yeah, so it's thebuffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com oh, See that? That little bit of educational banter between us two. Made people remember the site better. Isn't, isn't there a sponsor or two that's on the there website? Is. There's certainly one you put on the website. There's one on the website now. There's one, but you said you revoked it earlier, so... <laughs> Did I? Possibly when we were sweary. So, uh, earlier today, or... I can't remember saying that. Anyway, if you go to the WordPress website, and I'll try and remember, buffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com forward slash alpha hyphen fitness. Beautiful. I think I'll get you there. If it doesn't, it might say, whoops, you've gone to the wrong page. doesn't exist. Go back to here. In the menu, you'll find an option for Alpha Fitness. And yes, that'll, so. that'll give you details of packages that are available and information on how to contact Alpha-Fitness to get guns like us. And um, there'll be... <laughs> they'll, one of us. There'll be... Um, <laughs> there'll also be a, a page for Sante Wine Bar and Restaurant. There will indeed. Yes. Um, oh, once it got to end of their offer pretty soon, why not? Well, I'll probably try and negotiate another one. I think uh, I think that'll fly. You let me know before fine. I set up a new page. I will. I'll make I'll make the call. So right now, and since it is pay weekend for most people, um, you'll get twenty percent off at Sante from your meal, not your drinks, because you can't discount drinks because it's illegal. And that's not Alpha Fitness. That's not Alpha Fitness. No, no alcohol is is if, bad. I'm kind. Your drinks discounted at Alpha Fitness. <laughs> I also said the wrong percentage. I said I say twenty percent or ten percent. I don't know. You're giving a shit. I say twenty. You're I, subsidising that extra ten. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm taking that extra ten, so it's only ten percent actually. <laughs> Too late. They've just run out. They paused the they podcast. They paused it. They're playing it. <laughs> God, they Some case just wrapped in a counter. Well, they can't because they don't know what the code is. Ah, that's true. So the ten percent code is. Alpha Fitness Never and mind. the twenty percent code's a secret, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right, you do your sign off. Okay, you can find me on Instagram, Ian okay. Stobie. <laughs> Facebook's exactly the same. And you can find me on Twitter at Big Stobes81. Go for it. He's so ragey. <laughs> find me in the usual place at D Stobie and you'll get me on the website, you'll get me on the Buff Geek Facebook page, which is 
the big guys part, so I'll just shut up now. Okay, you can find me, him, us everywhere at the Buff Geek on all social media. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. Sorry, Tony. You know I wouldn't do this if I had any other choice. But he's my friend. So was I. <laughs>